Hello there, I am Emit Akush. In this video, we will solve one problem in chapter 7. With the help of a motor driven cable, a block of mass 16.5 kg is moved up the inclined plane shown in the figure. A. If the friction is negligible, how much work must be done by the motor to move up the block? 60 meters along the plane at a constant speed of 2 meters per second. Then calculate the power of the motor. To solve part A, we use the kinetic energy work theorem, that is, delta K equals K2 minus K1 equals total work. Since the speed of the block is constant, then there is no change in the kinetic energy. That is, total work is zero. Now, using the free body diagram of the block, we can find the work done by each of the forces. According to the figure, the work done by the gravitational force is Wg equals m times g dot d. Here, since the angle between the vectors is 90 degrees plus theta, then we have m times g times d times cosine 90 degrees plus theta. If we insert the numerical values into this equation, we obtain the work on the block done by the gravitational force as negative 4.851 joules. Or in three significant figures, it is approximately negative 4.85 joules. Secondly, the work done by the normal force is zero since the angle between the normal force and the distance vector is 90 degrees. We know that the total work is the sum of the works done by each force. Therefore, from this we get an expression for Wf as negative Wg. Therefore, the work done by the motor is equal to 4.851 joules or approximately 4.85 joules. Now we calculate the power of the motor. We use the formula of the power of the motor. Pm equals Wf over T. Here, since the speed of the block is constant, we use this formula to find the time. T equals D over V. Then the power becomes Wf times V over D. With the corresponding numerical values, we obtain approximately 0 0.162 watts. Okay, that's all about this problem. Thank you for your attention. See you in the next video.